first such a woman gotta get right Entrepreneurship, motherhood, marriage, divorce Dating, healthy, living, and thriving, of course Hey everybody, this is Tanya Barnett, your host of the Tanya Barnett Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy, happy Monday. We are here to see another day. I'm so super excited because I had a fantastic weekend and I just wanted to share a little snippet about it. Um, if you have not heard, you may have been under a rock. My friend uh, Ramonda Young and her husband Derek Young had their grand opening of Mahogany Books this weekend. Um, they had Jason Reynolds, who is a... Um, a children's lit uh, author. Uh, he was there to do a book signing. Paul Wharton, he did his book signing. Um, and they had a great, great time. DJ food, you name it. Lots of children, everything going on. This is over at the Anacostia Arts Center. So if you have not heard of Mahogany Books, you got to check it out. I have on their shirt with their website. So, oops, let me go this way. Mahoganybooks.com. Um, they're online and they just opened up their brick and bricks and mortar. And that's, that's where I was this weekend, mahogany books. So make sure you check them out. They have made history and Ramonda's also in my book today's history makers. So they actually made history. They're the first bookstore in Anacostia in 25 years. So I'm so super excited about them. They are doing amazing things, bringing literacy to the, uh, underserved, uh, people in the Anacostia area. So Make sure you go by and check them out. They have local authors there, signed autograph books there from Misty Copeland. Um, yours truly, so my book is there, signed and autographed. Uh, so make sure you check them out, Mahogany Books. Um, I'm super excited. So mad congrats to Ramonda and Derek Young over there at Mahogany Books. Right after this quick break, we're going to have the She's Gotta Have It, and then I'm going to introduce you to my special guest. Don't go anywhere. This is Tanya Barnett with The Tanya Barnett Show. Hey, everybody, this is Tanya Barnett. Thank you for hanging tight, hanging tough. Um, I'm super excited about my She's Gotta Have It. You all know this is my favorite part of my show where I get to highlight a black business. So I'm super excited because my black business today that I want to highlight is Forever Living Memories. Um, and so they make jewelry out of copper, okay? So here is, um, this is an arm piece that I have um, from them. This is made from scratch. And this is the earring that matches it. I mean, I'm sorry, ring that matches it. I have some bracelets. I actually gave my youngest daughter one. And then these earrings. So I am a person who likes sets. So I like all my stuff to match. Um, but you can get all different types of pieces. They have jewelry for men, jewelry for women, for children. Um, and this brother is mad talented. So make sure you check them out. 
I'm going to put their logo up there on the screen, uh, is Forever Living Memories. Um, they are fantastic. They go everywhere. So if you're looking for a vendor that's going to have unique um, products for your next event, if you're looking for vendors, make sure you reach out to them. Um, no two pieces are alike. That's what I love about them. So when you come away from there, nobody else has what you have. So make sure you check out Forever Living Memories. That is my black uh, business, my She's Gotta Have It Today. And I'm going to bring on my special guest, Miss Vernice, Vernice Garner Moore, because she's married, y'all. She got married. <laughs> so welcome to the show. Thank you, Tanya. This is Venice. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. So you have a She's Gotta Have It, a black business that you want to feature. So can you go ahead and share that with everybody? Yes, the business that I want to feature is called Statement Junkie. Okay. It is actually um, geared towards helping young girls receive passports. A oh, lot wow. of young women who live in the inner city, they haven't really been exposed to other areas. So mm -hmm. Statement Junkie actually um, takes, you know, funding and donations to help young girls get sponsorships to receive passports so that they can actually start wow. traveling. Uh, Awesome. I've never heard of them. So Statement Junkies, and can you share their website or, or if they have social media? Absolutely. It's www.statementjunkie.com, and you can find them on Instagram um, at Statement Junkie, and you can also find them on Facebook at Statement Junkie. Awesome. Awesome. And so this, it sounds to me like this is an organization that you can actually sponsor somebody. So you actually can go in, yes. make a donation, um, and this will benefit a young girl to get her passport. I love absolutely. it. That's and what I'm talking about. Yeah, absolutely. You can also sponsor a young lady. If you know a young lady in the, in the city, um, I think it's starting out in New York, but she is looking, the founder, um, Rachelle Evans, is looking to, you know, broaden um, the different states. But they're starting in New York City. But if you know of a young lady in that area, you can sponsor them um, to receive a, a passport. Awesome. That is fantastic, y'all. I think since this is Black History Month, I'm going to challenge each and every one of my my listeners, Watch if you're watching right now, Go and sponsor a young lady. Even if, say, for instance, you have a book club and you all put your pull your money together, five, ten dollars together to to sponsor a young lady getting her passport. I think that is amazing. Um, I know I'm going to reach out to my circle, my tribe of people, and I'm mm -hmm. going to ask them to go in with me um, so that we can sponsor a young lady to get her passport. Because if you travel, you see the world, your whole vantage point on life changes. Um, and so I just think it's so I'm, I'm so happy that you shared. I've never heard a statement junkie. So thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Awesome. Awesome. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back after this quick break with my special guest, Venice. And she's going to tell you about what she's all about. And our topic tonight is emotional health and um, emotional health and embracing your difference. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this break. I'm Tanya Barnett, Barnett with the Tanya Barnett Show. Hey, everybody, this is Tanya Barnett, your host of the Tanya Barnett Show, and my special guest tonight is none other than Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Venice Garner Moore. How are you tonight? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so excited, girl. Let me tell you something. It was like Noah's, Noah's Ark out there. It oh. rained so bad. Um, <laughs> so, oh. you know, having to navigate all that water on the road. Um, so, but I'm here, and I'm dry, yeah. and I'm thankful that my basement did not flood. Power to the people about that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. many of my neighbors' basements flooded um, yesterday and today. So I am thankful that we were not in that number. So thank yeah. you, Lord. <laughs> yeah. So, Miss Venice, can you tell people who don't know anything about you a little bit about who you are? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm a mental health therapist. I counsel individuals and I counsel couples um, with uh, 
marriage counseling and challenges and concerns that they're having within their relationship. And for the individuals, those who have anxiety or suffer from depression or they're trying to break family patterns. Um, and I'm also a, a coach, a life coach for those, you know, who come into my, my office who need just help with a different direction or trying to figure out what's next in their lives. Wow. And that is so key. Um, especially I just saw on social media today where there was, um, some backlash, uh, for this young woman, she created a retreat for African-American women only. And mm -hmm. on Twitter, white folks lost their mind. They lost their mind that she actually created a retreat. She had a licensed clinical therapist come give the women downtime, give them time to um, decompress, get away from all the toxicity, um, you know, white tears, white fragility, you know, all of that, and talk about some of the things that they've been dealing with at work, at home, and in the community. And, um, you know, the women who, who went said it was a great experience. They were able to reju rejuvenate. Um, get you know get their minds right basically um, yeah. but there was a lot of backlash behind that so can you explain to uh, my audience those who have heard about counseling or therapy and things of that nature why it is important because obviously you have a degree in it you're right. spending your time doing it so why is it important today and, and we're talking about the 21st century woman so we're talking about my audiences between 30 and 55 so why is it important for us it's imperative time, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you may hear, and I'm glad that you explained that to me because I'm going to look up that that information for that retreat because I'm actually working on a retreat. But okay. um, there's a lot of clients who call my office and they, they try to be as discreet as possible because, believe it or not, there's some people who are still embarrassed about coming in for therapy. Um, and I think it's because of, like, Sometimes our background and our culture or even family dynamics can cause the individuals to not be open to talking about whatever issues or, or problems they may have. Um, sometimes we've been taught to just not talk. Mm -hmm. about things. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to family concerns or family patterns, some things are just brushed under the rug. And right. it's just like, no, we don't talk about those things. Um, and then you know, learned behavior occurs and then diagnosis occurs when the person could become depressed or they can have anxiety from holding things in um, or they can just have, you know, different diagnosis based on the genetics. They can have bipolar wow. or have, have depression um, within the family, but people don't talk about it. But the good thing about it now is that I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people a little bit more open to talking about um, how important it is to get therapy um, and especially for the age group that you mentioned. Um, right. Years ago, our parents weren't really into, okay, we don't do that. We're not going to talk to nobody. We're going to keep <laughs> our um, things in the house. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. Like that. Um, but it's my hope that, you know, us as, as young women and even teaching our children, it's okay to talk about things. Right. Right. And that is so key. And, and I'm very transparent. I always do my transparency moments on Facebook where, yeah. you know, I share that I do see a therapist, um, you know, not regularly, but on times when I feel like that anxiety happening um, here recently, I started going back to my therapist, love her to pieces um, because, you know, I was dealing with anxiety with my daughter getting ready to have a baby and then my other daughter getting ready to graduate from high school. And I was taking all of that on as a mom, like, you know, stressing because I wanted to be there with my daughter who's pregnant and my other daughter didn't do what she was supposed to do, you know, to position yeah. herself to go to college. And so now, you know, she's, she's trying to stress us out, but she ain't stressing me out. You know, I've, I've, I've <laughs> my therapist was like, look, she made a bed. She got a lie in it, girl. You, you gonna, she gonna be all right. You know, type thing. But I was taking all that personal and trying to fix her situation that really I can't fix. So can you, can you speak to how we as black women try to fix other people and how that affects our mental uh, wellness? Listen, I tell you, two of um, one of my best friends is actually a therapist. Thank goodness, because we don't have to build each other. Um, and <laughs> you need that. You need to have um, that outlet. And and like you said, it doesn't even have to be every single week, but just the outlet of having someone, an objective person, um, trained and who can just listen. Because us as African American women, we take on a lot. And while it may be natural, sometimes it can be too much. Mm -hmm. And because we're used to taking on so much, it's hard to reach out and ask for help. Right. Or it could be perceived as um, weak because we're asking for help. 
But it is a, it's a sense of strength when you're actually able to take a step back and say, you know what, I need to talk about this. I need to ask for some help or I need to figure some things out. Um, and, and I see it a lot, unfortunately. Wow. Wow. And, you know, it's so funny because my guest last week, she shared that um, a family member, somebody was an ER doctor and they were seeing more and more uh, African-American women between that age group coming in with strokes and heart attacks, you know. And so I was just like, wow, I'm in that category. I was dealing with some anxiety. And so I'm like, yo, I need to dial, dial it back some. I need to say no to some things. You know, I'm not going to be uh, running here and there to conferences this year, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, yeah. I, because it was taking away time from my family, taking away time for, for me, um, mm -hmm. working on the stuff that I'm passionate about. Um, so yeah, that is just so, so key. Um, you know, what, what you just shared. And because we're also in the business and Tanya, I know that you can agree to this. Like you said, we're in the business of helping people, mm -hmm. but sometimes, I mean, because we love what we do, we want to do so much or we don't want to let people down or we right. don't want to say no, but then that is, that can really be damaging us. So saying no is one of the best things that you can do for yourself. And I tell my clients, sometimes I give them homework. Okay, well, this week you're going to have to say no to two things because wow. you're going to have to really look out for you. You know, you could be home taking a bubble bath at home by yourself when you, and instead of spending six hours on the road for, you know, a conference where you're there speaking for 20 minutes. No offense to it, you know, because <laughs> I love it. Right. But Sometimes you have to rejuvenate yourself so that you can be who you can be to those in the profession that you work for. That is so key um, because I actually I just posted before coming here that 2018 is the year where we stop allowing ourselves to be bullied into doing stuff we don't want to do. Mm. Um, and I am I have been guilty of that in the past for years. I was bullying into doing things that I want to do. And and now talking to a therapist, I realized that I suffered a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. Um, my hair started falling out, dealing with, you know, not knowing how to cope with all those things. So can, can you talk to that woman who is like at the at the end of her rope? She's stressed out. She's tapped out at church, tapped out at work because she done took on some projects because people are like, well, we know you're going to get it done. That used to be me. Um, mm -hmm. and she's tapped out with her children. What, can, what words of encouragement would you give to her? I would say to take a moment, why? And is it, is this all worth it? Because sometimes when you're running so much, it's like you're trying to prove something to wow. or to yourself. And there's a lot of underlying issues I've, I've had to deal with it myself. Like sometimes, you know, I've been in a place where I was running, running, running to the point where I had to take a step back and, and ask myself, what is it that you're really looking for? Because you have to find out what matters most. Right. Wow. That, that is, that is heavy. That is very heavy. Um, yeah. What, what, why are we doing all this? You know, is it, is it because we want validation? You know, what, what is the driving cause behind that? So ladies, I'm going to leave that with you right now to think about, cause we're going to take a really, really quick break and we'll be right back here on the Tanya Barnett show. Don't go anywhere. Hey there, this is Tanya Barnett, your host of the Tanya Barnett Show, the flyest talk show on the internet. And my special guest tonight is none other than Venice Garner Moore. Welcome back, lady. Hi, thank you. You are dropping some knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> and we left the ladies um, with 
figuring out or think just thinking about why they're doing all that all that that they're doing and i'm telling you when you were talking i i envisioned myself when i had a honda odyssey minivan girl Mm -hmm. and i bought that thing because it had eight seats and i said (laughs) i'm gonna fit my kids in there my nieces my nephews and believe it or not i was running all over the place in that minivan but i set myself up Mm -hmm. doing that you know and I remember always going on Facebook saying, yeah, I took the kids here. I did this with the kids. I did. And, you know, I had to think about just now during the break. I'm like, man, I was doing that so people could be like, oh, you're such a great mom. Look at all the stuff you're doing with your kids. You know, and it really wasn't even about my kids. It was I wanted people to, to view me as a good mom. So, wow, mm-hmm. you, you, you don't struck a nerve, girl. <laughs> but myself at times, too, believe it or not. <laughs> Wow, wow. So we're, we're going to shift gears a little bit because um, you have a conference coming up. And so I wanted you to share a little bit about your business, um, Embrace Your Difference. So if you could share a little bit about that. Sure, sure. So embracing your difference means embracing your true self and um, embracing every single part of you, even the parts that you have tried to ignore, the parts that you don't talk about to many people, the challenges, just embracing all of it and knowing that it's all God given. And at the end of the day, it's a stepping stone to get to where you need to go in your next place in life. Um, Embracing your difference also means like after you have embraced your difference, what are you doing to help others? So um, my company is um, it's a private practice and motivational firm. So I do the therapy, but then I also have like the motivational piece as well, which we do the conferences and the mentoring. So the conference um, is to help women realize their one their vulnerability to see and get them to understand uh, how they have embraced the difference that they haven't all uh, already. Um, and another huge component to the conference is a tribute in which we have um, a tribute to a woman who has embraced the difference, who has gone through some challenges but did not make excuses for them, kept pushing through, kept moving through. Um, In the last two conferences, one, we had a woman who had actually 11 children, Mm. gave two children, and at one point in time, they lived in a two-bedroom apartment. Wow. And she got them all through, her and her husband, and they all graduated high school and were all doing well. Um, another conference, we had a, a woman who um, was taking care of her, her son who was diagnosed with cancer, and she had to go through that long battle with him. So just embracing um, the hardships, but then still being able to push through and help others. Uh, we have dynamic panelists who are able to talk about their professions and motivate these young women um, or on those professions and where they are. And then also talking about how they have embraced their difference because we all have a story. So I'm very excited. This is our fourth conference coming Yay! up at State University. And yes, I'm pushing through it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And that is so, that's so key because I don't think you hear too many people talking about embracing your differences, your shortcomings, your flaws, whatever those things are, you know, imperfections. You don't hear too many people talking about that. Yes, exactly. And we're definitely going to talk about that at the conference because it's all about really being vulnerable, being vulnerable with yourself. Uh, being authentic with yourself, but then also having, and I think I I, I recall you um, posting something either yesterday or the day before about your tribe. Like just having a few good women who are behind you no matter what mm-hmm. and who are good friends. And, and what does that mean? So we're going to talk about that too. Wow. And that is so key, especially today, you know, with everything that's going on, you know, it, it, you know, television, society, uh, reality TV shows are showing us a different light of, of what African American women look like. You know, mm-hmm. they're, they're dolled up. Uh, they have on these jewels and beautiful clothes, but then fighting each other. Um, mm-hmm. And so, I just think it's so key what you're sharing and what you're going to be teaching to show other women that you know we we can tribe up and we can get behind somebody and we can pull our monies together, like for Statement Junkie. You know, making sure that we are community based and tribe based. Yes. yes, absolutely. While taking care of yourself and not ignoring your mental health. <laughs> there yes. you go. I love it. I love it. And mental health is so 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 key. Um, in 2018, and I'm and I'm really thankful that we have women such as yourself who are saying, "Here I am. I'm here. I'm a voice for you. I'm, I'm a voice. I'll listen to you. You know, I may I may tell you, girl, look, you, you little off there, but you know, 
let's get you back on track. Um, exactly. Because some people, some of our friends will let us stay in our crazy. And I can clearly say I've, I know some people that have allowed me to stay in my crazy. I can say the same. But I'm so blessed and thankful that I do have now. I've been able, as I've gotten older, to really to weed through that and see, you know, who is going to really be there and, and tell me, okay, Van, you're a little off. What are you doing? Right. Um, but they're still supporting me to get me back to where I need to be as well. Right, a- right. And that's, that's, and you know, it's so important because then you have those ones who will say, you know, you're doing too much. You, you may, you may want to dial back. And I've had, mm-hmm. my mentor does that all the time. She's like, T, do you really need to be doing that right now? C- can that wait till maybe like two months from now, six months from now, a year from now? Yes. And then when I take a, you know, take a moment and I'm like, oh my God, this is a great opportunity. She's like, but is, do you need that opportunity right now? Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. it has saved me looking back in hindsight, it has saved me so much drama, so much anxiety, you know, stress, cash, you know, <laughs> by saying no, not at this moment, you know. Absolutely. But you know what? I'm glad that you said that because there are things that, you know, we have on our list to do that we want to do and we foresee ourselves doing, but not everything needs to be done right now. Mm-hmm. But in another sense, it's good to talk about those things because then you and, and your girlfriends or whomever it is, is, is your go-to, you can hold each other accountable and say, hey, wait a minute, you know, you were talking about this last year. When are you going to get this done? I'm not going to let you fall back and forget the things that you really are passionate about. So it goes both ways. I think absolutely both. Sometimes we got to have those people to tell us to slow down, but then have those people to hold us accountable to make sure we're not forgetting the things we want to do. That is so key. I love that you that you brought that up. Thank you so much. So we're going to take a really quick break, and um, we're going to come back, and you're going to give us some information on how they can register for the Embracing Your Difference conference um, and how they can reach out to you. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on the Tanya Barnett Show. All right. Hey, everybody, this is Tanya Barnett, your host of the Tanya Barnett Show, and my special guest tonight is none other than Venice Garner Moore. Welcome back. Hey, thank you. So can you um, tell people how they can register for the Embracing Your Difference conference? And um, if if there's, I don't know if there's any um, accommodations that people want to come in from overnight or anything like that. So if you could share a little bit more about how they can reach out to you and how they can get registered. Absolutely. So you can go to my website, www.embraceyourdifference.com. That's where you can purchase tickets for the conference. Um, If you are purchasing more than five tickets, you can contact me directly at info at embraceyourdifference.com. I'm also on Instagram at embrace underscore your underscore difference. Um, If you need to contact me uh, via Instagram or Facebook, embracing your difference. Um, And as far as uh, hotel accommodations, there's hotels right by the airport. I'm going into the Holiday Inn, um, downtown Baltimore, and by the airport. Awesome, awesome. And I think sometimes we forget about where to stay, (laughs) you know, for people who want to come from out of town, you know. um, And I always try to make sure whenever there's a conference, I say, okay, are there accommodations just for those people who may want to come in? Um, So we're going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to go a little personal. Um, So question for you, you are a newlywed. (laughs) So congratulations. Thank you. Um, And so with that being said, how do you find time with, because you have a private practice and now you have a conference coming up, how do you find time for the honey with everything you have going on? (laughs) You know, before we got married, one of my biggest things, one of the things that we share in common is we love to travel, whether that's a weekend getaway. Um, And for me, like even 
speaking to some of my couples, I tell them, listen, if you got to go to a hotel 15 minutes away just to enjoy the spa in the hotel and you have a day without the kids, then you do that. And I have to make sure that I stay true to practicing what I preach. <laughs> right. Um, we're both in the mental health field. So we try to take care of each other, you know, with um, tuning in to each other and making sure that we're taking care of ourselves. You know, my husband is always want to go coaching and, and, you know, refereeing and, and work his full-time job as well. But sometimes I, you know, we both try to say, listen, let's, let's, let's make a date night or, right. Hey, what are we doing um, next month? Let's pick a weekend right now. That's going to be our weekend. Let's call these grandmas right now and, and <laughs> get it going. <laughs> um, I'm just thankful for my mother-in-law and my mom because, you know, at the end of the day, last year we were able to travel to Africa for a wow. dear friend birthday one of my my closest friends 35th birthday and if it wasn't for the grandparents we wouldn't have been able to go my anxiety was already through the roof just by leaving you know our children but we love to travel and spend time together so i'm thankful wow okay so you you said about grandma so for those people and this is something i always always tell the ladies that i coach you know through the wife coaching is Mm -hmm. that you know having those people that you can leave your kids with Yes. Um, and so can you share how, how women can find people or w- whatever they need to make time? Because I hear a lot of couples say, well, I got little kids and I don't trust anybody or I don't know anybody. So what, what would you say to that, to that mom or that wife? That's a good question. Also, because, you know, there's people who move to different states for their careers and for jobs and then they feel like they're alone. I'm not sure if you um, have seen the single moms club with Nia Long um, it was out a few years ago, okay. but what made me think about that is I think I was scrolling through and it came on the other day and it was just a group of moms who they had just got to know each other and they were learning, you know, to get to know each other. And they made this pet once a month where they would leave their kids with one of the moms in the club. Mm. Um, and that mom was able to go out and not to say it would be that ideal and it would happen that perfect, but you know, reaching out to your church, um, you know, some girlfriends or joining a group just so that you can get to know other people because they may share some of the same struggles that you have because you're going to need to have some time to yourself or with your your spouse or significant other. Wow, that is so key. And the other thing I tell people is reach out to the Red Cross. That may seem so basic, but reach out to the Red Cross for Red Cross certified babysitters. Um, You know, they have, they take the training and things of that nature Mm -hmm. and you know, then you're not paying a lot of money because normally with the Red Cross certified babysitters, their parents are either home or like my daughter, she's 17. She's killing it in the neighborhood, <laughs> you know? So she's always, you know, she has all different types of families. She, she babysits on the weekends, at, at night, you know, mm-hmm. so she's killing it in the neighborhood. So that's something else, you know, reach out to your local Red Cross um, because that's they do great. give certified babysitter training. Um, and like mm-hmm. you say, your church, um, I love that idea of a mom pack. That is a fantastic yes. idea. It, it, it was, I, I'm going to have to like post that movie. It was out a few years ago, but when I saw it again, it just spoke to me. I said, wow, this was great. This is a good idea. Right. Another thing is if you have um, children who have siblings, they may like older siblings, like you said, your daughter is 17. Mm-hmm. They, their children may have siblings who are 17, 18, who may be able to come to your home. Um, I actually was able to find a babysitter that way because I don't want to overextend my, my in-laws and my parents. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. Mm-hmm. That is so key. Um, and then how do you find time for self-care? I work on it. I'm working on it okay. still. <laughs> um, okay. Yes. I, the good thing about my, my, my practice is that I make my schedule. Okay. So if I'm starting to feel like, you know, I need some time, I can look until next week. I could change some things around and okay. I can stay home while everybody is out. Um, that way I don't feel guilty if the clothes are not folded and then I get to take a nap because I need naps these days right now. <laughs> but um, so that's important to me. And my husband is great with allowing me, like if I need to go out, he doesn't mind just taking care of the kids. If I need to go out with my girlfriends or just go get a pedicure communication as long as i communicate we, we get it get it done 
Awesome, awesome. And I, and, I, and I appreciate your transparency saying that you need to work on it because I think sometimes when people see us and they see all the stuff that we're doing, they think that, that we're just, you know, we're on 10 and 100 all the time and we got it all together. But you're like, yo, I need to work on self-care, you know. And that is so key for people who are watching right now to see that, you know, we're, we're regular everyday moms, wives just like they are. And we don't got our stuff 100% together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so, um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a really quick break. And again, I'm going to have you share how people can reach out to you um, and embracing your difference conference. I'm Tanya Great. Barnett with the Tanya Barnett Show. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, this is Tanya Barnett, your host of the Tanya Barnett Show, the flyest talk show on the internet, where we talk about all things and challenges pertaining to the 21st century woman. But not only do we talk about the challenges, we give you some solutions. So my special guest tonight is none other than Mrs. Venice Garner-Moore. Welcome back. Hello, thank you. Um, one of the things I wanted to share is that Venice is in my, my new and upcoming book, so I'm really excited about that. Yes. So thank you, thank you, thank you for gracing the pages of my book. I am thank so honored, you. so thank you. And she is a history maker, y'all. She is doing a darn thing. I'm super <laughs> excited that we were able to connect about two years ago. Can you believe it's been two years? I know. <laughs> I fly. I know, and it's like we're like family. And so yeah. that is the beautiful thing when, when you meet people that are authentic, transparent you immediately connect and you could talk for a, a month and then a month goes by and you still just pick up right where you left off so i appreciate you sis um, i, I being appreciate in my life thank you thank awesome. you awesome so can you tell us one more time um before we get out of here uh where they can register for the embracing your difference conference and how they can reach you sure you can go to my website www.embraceyourdifference.com there you can purchase tickets to the conference. If you're purchasing um, five or more tickets, you can contact me, info at embraceyourdifference.com. Even if you have young ladies, high school and college students who want to attend, please reach out because I will figure out a way of getting them sponsorship tickets. Um, I just want as many young women there as possible so that they can you know, figure out more about embracing their difference. So with that being said, I have a 17 year old, so I will be able to bring her with me. Bring her, yes. Okay. Awesome. Text her, awesome. her, her, her real name. I'm gonna put her on the list. Okay, no. awesome. I'm gonna do that right after this show. Um, so thank you so much, Venice. Oh, how can we reach you? You can reach me um, via Instagram at embrace underscore your underscore difference. Um, you can always email me info at embraceyourdifference.com or embraceyourdifference at gmail.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Embracing Your Difference LLC. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much for dropping knowledge on mental wellness, um, embracing your difference, self-care, um, you know, just taking care of ourselves because we really have to step back from the hustle and the grind, you know, all that team no sleep, you know, not knocking anybody, but I'm just saying team no sleep going to have you in the ER. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so thank yes. you so much um, for, for sharing your knowledge with us. I am honored that you say yes to being on my show tonight. And I will see you next month at the conference. Yes. Thank you, Tanya. I appreciate you, sis. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. And um, no one, everyone else, we'll see Ms. Venice later. I'll be right back after this break on the Tanya Barnett Show.
get your life right. Hey everybody, this is Tanya Barnett, your host of the Tanya Barnett Show, the flyest talk show on the internet where we talk about all the challenges facing the 21st century woman. But not only do we talk about the challenges, we offer you, we <laughs> offer you solutions. I bring on special guests such as licensed clinical therapist Venice Garner-Moore, who you just had an opportunity. She talked about mental wellness um, for us. We're not stroking out anymore. No more heart attacks, ladies. I have two friends that have had a stroke, and we're not doing that anymore. Um, before 40. We, can, we just can't do it. The grind and the hustle ain't, it's, it's just not worth it. All right, so um, I appreciate you all. I want to share with you um, that I do have my brand new book. It is launching this month. Today's History Makers, 21st Century African American Female Entrepreneurs. It'll be dropping later on this month. I'm so excited because it's just in time for Black History Month, and I have fantastic women such as Venice, who is just my guest. And then my guest next week is none other than Julian B. Keegan, that she's coming back, y'all, to the Tanya Barnett Show. She's going to be talking about um, a brand new program that she has if you want to be an author. So you do not want to miss this program that she has coming up. Um, and we're starting a challenge actually on Monday. So when she comes, she's going to be telling you about the challenge. Um, and you're going to be able to join the Facebook group and get some encouragement because we're going to write those books this year. Okay. I'm dropping book three this month, working on book four. So let's get it done, y'all. It's time to stop playing. We got a story to tell. We got to help save some lives, encourage people. Um, so let's get it done in 2018. So without further ado, I want to give mad shout out again to Mahogany Books. I'm so proud of y'all for opening up the first black bookstore in Anacostia in 25 years. I am elated. I'm over the moon. I'm proud of you all, uh, Ramonda and Derek. And um, without further ado, I'm going to get out of here for Gentlemen Sweet. Be ready for my, my brothers from another mother. They're going to have you laughing and they're going to be dropping knowledge on you. I'm Tanya Barnett. Talk to you later. <laughs>